Welcome back to another session of Asnati. Today, tough and interesting question, and it is how you're going to kill silos. So I know that many people are talking about the need to kill silos, but few, really few, are talking about how to do it. And I'll touch uh, high level one way how to do it. Obviously, it's not going to be easy, but uh, I strongly recommend to take everything that I'm talking about right now and try it on one group within your organization. If you see the benefit out of it, and to see the benefit, by the way, you need to measure metrics before, at least like two or three months, and after you are doing this change to make sure that you can get accurate data that depict whatever this change actually helped or didn't help. And I willing to bet it's going to help tremendously. So the trick is like that. First of all, you need to let go the concept of grouping people by their expertise. Just put it aside. Take one, functions, one function that needs to be done, major function or minor function, better, in order to reach the company purpose. Let's say increasing developing new product it's fair it's contained you won't create too much damage now think who are all the expertise that needs to be part of this group it could be people from development it could be people for customer support it could be people from project management it could be people from marketing it could be people from many existing silos that we have today Group those people together into one into one group hybrid group. So now you have a hybrid group with five, ten people, fifteen, not more than that, people that have different background in different expertise and they are working together. Hard, not easy, takes time for people to grasp, but that's the only way to kill silos. Now, measure what this group is doing and you find out that they are ma managing to reach astonishing results comparing to other groups that are doing the same. If you see the success in this one, now you have to go and do something harder. You have to create more groups like that with more people that involved in that. Eventually, you will find out that certain individual exist in several groups wearing certain or several hats in those groups and when this start to happen everyone is more familiar with everyone else from different expertise then you are breaking in reality the silos a by creating groups that are not silos and b by enabling people to interact and work together with other people that usually they are not interacting with in silos. That's all. Sounds simple? It's not, I know. But now you know what to try.